There is a challenge with flying cars in that they, they'll be quite noisy, the wind force generated will be very high. Let's just say that if something's flying over your head, a whole bunch of flying cars going all over the place. After years of anticipation, Elon Musk is finally releasing his first flying car today. This innovative Tesla car is totally different from the flying cars other companies boast about. From its unmatched speed to its high-tech design, Elon Musk's flying car deserves the hype it is receiving. What are the other features that make Tesla's flying car stand out amongst others? And what does its innovation mean for the future of transportation? Join us as we share all the exciting details of the new Tesla flying car. The amazing concept of the Tesla flying car. The Tesla flying car is basically the upgraded version of the Tesla Roadster. Tesla's new flying car isn't just another overhyped vehicle. It is an achievement that is now making waves in futuristic transportation. Everyone knows Elon Musk loves to think outside the box. He doesn't merely try out a field, but transforms it entirely with bold moves and innovation. And now, after all the procedures and testing, he is releasing the Tesla Roadster flying car. The Tesla Roadster flying car is built with a special upgrade called the SpaceX package. It is designed to make the car so powerful and fast, but what makes it have this special SpaceX package? Before we get into that, remember that the Tesla Roadster was already one of the fastest cars on Earth, accelerating from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in only 1.9 seconds. That was a big achievement made possible by Tesla, and it made history. Most cars take much longer to reach that speed, but this car zooms like a superhero's vehicle. It's even faster than some rides at an amusement park. But recently, other cars have been trying to catch up like the Lucid Air and the Aspark Owl. They have also reached that speed in less than two seconds, giving the Roadster some competition. Musk didn't want to be matched, he wanted to go beyond. So Elon Musk revealed his idea to add rocket thrusters, like tiny space engines, all around the car. Now with the SpaceX package upgrade, the new Tesla Roadster flying car is literally on another whole new level. This upgrade includes about 10 small rocket thrusters that are strategically placed around the car. These aren't the kind of rockets you see on a spaceship, of course, but it is just similar in design. These rocket thrusters allow the car to achieve bursts of speed that seem almost impossible. It also gives the Roadster an extra boost when accelerating and braking, enabling it to reach 100 kilometers per hour in just 1.1 seconds. This is faster than the first Roadster in seconds, but that is not even all. These rocket thrusters are what make the Roadster capable of flying. They are designed to kick in and give the car a super strong push forward, and not just a push for speed, they actually lift the car into the air, making it a flying car. Imagine sitting in your car, holding the steering wheel, and feeling a sudden lift as the car rises slightly off the ground. Engineers have designed this feature with extreme precision so that the experience can be both fun and safe. Emphasis on the safety. Thinking of the reality of it, the Roadster isn't just a car. It's like a mini spaceship floating above the ground. Then as quickly as it lifted, it would gently lower back down. This shows that Elon Musk's vision goes beyond just making the car fast. It's about pushing the limits of what we thought was not really possible to achieve, which is transforming a regular car into a flying one. If you think that's all the SpaceX flying car has, you couldn't be more wrong. More exceptional features of the Tesla flying car. When it comes to an electric flying car, one of the major things that would be on the buyer's mind is the battery. The Tesla Roadster has a massive 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. This power source is twice as large as the highest capacity batteries currently available in Tesla's Model S and Model X vehicles. With this powerhouse under the hood, the Roadster has an extraordinary estimated range of 620 miles on a single charge at highway speeds. This alone has set a new standard for electric vehicle range. This extensive range isn't just for short bursts, it's engineered to support hours of continuous, high-speed driving. Another thing is that the Roadster generates 10,000 Newton meters of wheel torque, which is an incredible amount of force that allows it to achieve this, what we could say, lightning-fast acceleration. When we say that the Tesla Roadster generates 10,000 Newton meters of wheel torque, we're referring to the rotational force the vehicle applies to its wheels. Torque is essentially the twisting force that propels the car forward. A torque level of 10,000 Newton meters is exceptionally high 
and that has to be one of the highest performance vehicles in the market. Despite being capable of such rapid acceleration and high performance, it can still travel an estimated 620 miles as we mentioned earlier. Now to the design of the Tesla Roadster flying car. At first glance, the car looks like the normal sleek Tesla Roadster, but the closer you get, the more you realize this is no ordinary vehicle. The design is exactly what you expect from a car that Elon praises a lot. It has a modernized body, metallic curves, and the flying car exterior design is minimalistic. There is a large touchscreen extending from the top of the dash to the center console. This screen isn't just for mere glance. It is the control hub for almost every function in the car. From entertainment to climate control and driving settings, this touchscreen is where everything happens. This creates an experience that feels advanced and intuitively Tesla. Tesla didn't settle for common features like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in this new model. In fact, the flying car doesn't have Amazon Alexa or any other third-party assistance features because of Tesla's strict philosophy of building everything in-house. This means that rather than relying on outside software or systems that either Apple's or Google to power features like media control, navigation, or voice commands, Tesla builds its own systems from scratch. The entire entertainment experience is so unique and different. It really makes you feel like you're stepping into the future. Another thing you won't find is an AM radio or Sirius XM here. The dashboard doesn't need it because the car's built-in Wi-Fi hotspot connects you directly to streaming services. And imagine parking in your driveway, catching up on Netflix, Hulu, or YouTube while your vehicle charges up. With Spotify at your fingertips, you can choose the perfect soundtrack that you want to listen to while driving or perhaps flying. But let's talk safety, because when you're in a car that's designed to go airborne, safety matters. Tesla has poured its most advanced driver assistance technology into this vehicle. The legendary autopilot system has been reimagined. It is enhanced with added layers of protection for the new risks of flying. There's standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, anticipating dangers before they are even visible to the human eye. The lane departure warning system has been inputted as well, keeping the car steady whether it's trying to curve on the road or sail through aerial lanes. For anyone wondering about the car's durability, Tesla hasn't cut corners. Like the rest of Tesla's fleet, this vehicle comes with an impressive warranty package. The car's limited warranty covers four years or 50,000 miles, while the powertrain that is the part responsible for giving the car both power and flight has an eight-year warranty regardless of miles traveled. But here is the thing. This flying roadster isn't going to be following typical maintenance plans. Unlike other rivals like the Audi R8 or Jaguar F-Type, you won't be getting complimentary maintenance with this car. Perhaps the systems have evolved beyond the need for such routine care, but only time will tell. The car's electric motors and battery pack are built to withstand not only regular driving, but also any rigorous conditions you might experience while trying to fly. In fact, Tesla spent a lot of time manufacturing this particular model. It's not just about making a car that can go up, it's about creating a vehicle that feels safe, reliable, and luxurious while it does so. For those lucky enough to get their hands on one, the user experience promises to be out of this world, actually. Tesla has incorporated advanced settings in the heads-up display. This gives this different visual concept for air navigation. When you lift off, the display adjusts to show aerial pathways, speed limits, and potential obstructions. Everything is designed to make flying feel as natural as driving down the street. How will governments regulate this new form of travel? What kind of airspace will these cars occupy? And what safety protocols will need to be in place for them to operate in crowded cities? Tesla has assured the public that these issues are being handled. And while the flying car brings excitement, it also brings questions like the potential risk that comes with flying cars. Has Tesla tackled this? Sit tight as we share more. Potential risk of the Tesla flying cars and how it was settled. As with any new outstanding technology, people worry about some potential risks. When it comes to flying cars, stability and safety are major concerns. Imagine a car that could lift off suddenly while driving, or one that might struggle to maintain balance if the thrusters fired unevenly. The engineers at Tesla and SpaceX were well aware of these risks and worked tirelessly to overcome them. They designed a system that carefully monitors the balance and timing of each thruster. 
It will ensure that the car remains steady whenever it lifts off the ground. Sensors around the vehicle will continuously measure its position, speed, and tilt, adjusting the thrust in to maintain a smooth hover. Another issue was the potential heat from the thrusters. Rocket thrusters can get extremely hot, and in a compact car, there isn't much space to dissipate that heat without damaging other components. Engineers came up with a heat-resistant shield around each thruster, using advanced materials that can withstand high temperatures without melting or warping. This shield directs heat away from the car's body, protecting both the car and its passengers. Another challenge is ensuring that the car's battery can handle the extra power demands of the thrusters. After all, a flying car that can only drive a few minutes before needing a recharge. Tesla's solution was to develop an advanced battery system that provides the energy needed for both standard driving and short flights. The Tesla team also tackled the possibility of wear and tear on the car's underbody. Hovering in short bursts of flight can exert unusual forces on a vehicle that's normally designed just for the road. To fix this, the Roadster's frame has been reinforced with lightweight, durable materials that can withstand the stresses of lifting and landing repeatedly. The landing mechanism has been crafted to absorb shocks and vibrations. This ensures that each touchdown is as gentle as possible. One of the most complicated problems to solve was the noise. Rocket thrusters are typically loud, and nobody wants a car that sounds like a jet engine on the street, so Tesla's engineers work to dampen the sound, using special soundproofing materials around the thrusters to keep the noise levels as low as possible. This way, the Roadster maintains a smooth, quiet ride even when it's about to leave the ground. Designing a flying car, though, comes with its share of technical challenges. Tesla's engineers didn't just stop at adding rocket thrusters, they also had to create a system that could handle the intense heat and stress produced by each launch. Traditional cars aren't made to withstand rocket propulsion, so Tesla has incorporated heat-resistant materials similar to those used in SpaceX rockets. This special shielding protects the car's structure from the thrusters' force and heat. It ensures they're safe to use repeatedly. Then there's the question of control. When a car can fly, it needs to stay balanced, especially during liftoff and landing. Tesla tackled this with a network of sensors that constantly measure the car's position, speed, and angle. These sensors work together with the car's software, which makes easy adjustments to the thrusters to keep the Roadster stable. So whether you're lifting off for a quick hop or accelerating to top speeds, you'll feel in control at all times. This balance system is what makes the flying experience safe, smooth, and easy to handle even for drivers who are used to traditional cars. Noise was another challenge. Rocket thrusters can be incredibly loud, and having that noise inside a car wouldn't make for a pleasant ride. Tesla's engineers use special soundproofing materials around the thrusters to keep the noise down. So instead of a loud roar, you'll hear a softer whoosh, like a powerful breeze. This makes the Roadster's flight mode surprisingly quiet, allowing passengers to enjoy a smooth, almost silent flight experience. The Roadster has a different steering setup. Rather than a typical steering wheel, it has a yoke steering mechanism, similar to those in aircraft. This system will make it easy to control and allow the driver to smoothly transition between driving and flight modes. The yoke's responsive design makes it feel like an extension of the driver's movements. With Tesla's first flying car, Elon Musk is doing more than just pushing the limits of what a car can do. He's redefining the very concept of driving. Tesla and SpaceX have combined their best technology to create a vehicle that's not only incredibly fast, but also capable of giving us an amazing flying experience. Tesla's new innovation and approach to car design and technology is setting the stage for big changes in the automotive industry. This is pushing things toward a future where cars are as smart and user-friendly as our favorite devices. Okay guys, that all for now about the Tesla Roadster flying car. Which features of the Tesla flying car did you find more intriguing? Would you like to purchase one? Drop your thoughts about this fly car in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, click the next video shown on your screen. You will enjoy watching it.